Welcome back to the United States of America, including more of America, and also this little bit. Eventually to be <laughs> directly, directly integrated, even though that might take a minute because I am sitting at a, at a very spicy 68.3 infamy. Which I'm pretty sure makes me the most infamous country on the planet. AKA, apparently, oh, except for Bolivia. Except for Bolivia, I am the only country on the planet with any infamy. <laughs> what Bolivia do to deserve this? What'd they do? I'm guessing it's from events, because I don't think they've been in any wars, even lower than France. They have zero infamy. They're completely reputable. Zero infamy. Must have really screwed up. Yeah, people really don't like that I invaded Mexico. Crazy thing that. Oh, market access in New York is low. Are we building anything there? Ports or anything? Plan that. I, I wish it would stay like this by default. Yeah, we're building a port. You know, let's chump up the port in New York. The top. and try and get that that infrastructure up because we are over capacity which means we'll start losing production in New York which is uh, bad because I'm pretty sure that is that's 15% of my economy we kind of need New York <laughs> they're a little important Oh, hey, an election's on. Let's see the players. Oh, wow. The Democrats have massive momentum. And the Whigs lost some to the military. Because the military just won a war, I'm guessing. God, would Andrew Jackson please just die? He's 73. Just get out of here, dude. Looks like universal suffrage is almost guaranteed. If New York is so good, why don't we have a New York? Newer York. <gasps> New New York. Oh boy. The Indian remo removal. In accordance with the removal treaty. Treaty. It is time for the Cherokee of Alabama to relocate to the Indian Territory. Wait, we've already done this before, I thought. Does it just happen again? Well, I'll, I'll pay money. New New York. It'll take a few centuries for New New York to exist. But what about Old York? Why doesn't anyone ever talk about Old York? They got a train! Choo -choo. Look at it go! Going from from York to Middlesbrough. It failed. A failed city. A pathetic little hamlet. Look at you! Only fourteen percent of your economy. Six point twenty-seven. Oh. Don't worry about it. Hey, Great Britain has stopped damaging relations. Ah, <laughs> oh, isn't that nice? Great Britain views the United States of America as a threatening force. This is derived from the Great Britain's attitude 
of minus 314. Great Britain has poor relations. Great Britain views the United States as a natural enemy. Great Britain has a rivalry. Great Britain views as a militarily threatening neighbor. Great Britain is threatened by infamy. Ah, uh, man. So much for friends. Decays by point one two a week. I love these chill streams. Yeah, it's good relaxing times. I just love these type of games. Like strategy games. Not like real time. I hate. I don't hate, but I'm not good at it, and I don't really like to play like Total War. But like Paradox style games. I love them. Because you can just sit here and chill and watch things happen. Tower defense games, I actually love tower defense games. There's just not a whole lot that are really any good. Yeah, it looks like the Democrats are going to, the Democrats and the Patriot Party are going to win pretty decisively. Loons TD, I've never played it. <clears throat> Is that the one with the monkeys? My dad used to play that in like 2012. Yes, yeah, my dad would play that in like 2012. I remember that one. Huh, logistics has been unlocked. That means we have an even bigger military. Wowie. Hey, universal suffrage is on the way. It's not going to be done in time for the election, though. Unfortunately. Let me sit up a bit straighter. As straight as my curved spine ass can do. What's our market situation look like? Let's turn it down to down to one while and let it run while we look at this. Luxury goods all suck. We need what? Everyone is buying our artillery. No wonder it's so fucking expensive. Holy shit. It's actually, despite it being so freakishly expensive, it is actually cheaper to buy, to buy cannons here than anywhere else. Okay. Build cannons in Virginia as well. Make them cheaper. All right, what else is up? We need paper, paper pretty bad. Okay. And the Democrats won with 54.8% of the vote. Who could have seen that coming? Build one in New Jersey. You want a new government? No. Changing would... I'm already contested. Changing would make things worse. Yippee! <laughs> Looks like we're stuck with the landowners. Is this your third term, sir? Did you... Did you kindly get the fuck out? Don't waste paper. They don't grow on trees, you know. <laughs> That's what we in the business like to call a funny joke. We need more clippers. But I have, I don't have enough this stuff. I need my motors. Wow, grain is like exactly in the middle. Oil. Oh. How am I getting co- how am I- what? Opium! 
Whoa, 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 wait. Oh my god, there's opium in the in the Western Hemisphere now. They're making opium in Sinaloa. This is important. Um, because despite opium being a drug, later on in the game you need it for the for the top tier medical technology for your military. The highest level of uh, medicine. And there's some down in New Granada as well. That's actually, and there's some here in, oh my God, they added more. Back in like 2.5, this was like the only, here, like central, southern and southeastern Asia was the only place where opium could be found. But now you can get some here in, in West Africa and a couple places in the United States. Drugs, hell yeah, yeah. Get them poppies, bro. Unfortunately, it seems like my people are starting to use it now. Hopefully I don't get a dependence. Because if you get a dependence on opium, people will start. Oh my God. Nice. If you get a dependence, people start dying a lot. However, it seems like my poor folk are getting absolutely fucking bodied. Why are they buying luxury clothes? Anyway, the main thing seems to be they need more grain. It's one part of history I remember somewhat. Yeah, the opi is the opium wars, which hasn't been fought actually. Normally, by this point, Great Britain has already fought uh, Great Qing for the opium wars because Qing bans opium. Seven weeks and the addiction is gone. And then they can start dealing with that. But normally they ban it. Britain throws a fit and declares war on them and takes Hong Kong. They didn't do that. Weird. Anyway, I need grain. Here's buy a bunch from the Russians. To decrease the price while we wait for... Actually... Cancel that. Cancel both of that. Because I can use fertilizer to increase how much I'm making. So will give us another 200. Who Jowie's he hasn't started using it? Illinois. All right. Wish they said the names here. What's their actual fertilizer stock look like? A bit better. You think I could do? The rest of my intensive grazing? Yeah, I can. Let's do that. And let it ride for a little bit. Let those update. See how the price of grain is affected? Seems to be going down. Oh, I'm still on one. No wonder it was moving so slow. Fertilizer price is going down. We're losing grain. All right, we need more of these. There we go. That's a lot better grain. They're still spending a fuck ton on it, though. Their deficit has gone down from 6.9 to 4.8. If they are if they are at a deficit, it means that they have to they don't have enough money to buy the things they need. 
which means they will start losing quality of life and maybe start dying and maybe start rioting and we don't want that the fugitive slave another slave john didn't we go through this last time mr calhoun didn't you go through this last time oh hey it's actually doing something now see i i, I told you it was a bug the fugitive slave, a slave belonging to John Calhoun, has escaped his estate and fled to a northern free state. Calhoun has demanded his return, but abolitionists are calling for his demands to be ignored. Yeah, free soy makes anyone free. Get fucked, John. Johnny boy. Just keeps losing them. Can't exile you, can I? No. Because he's in the government. Yeah. John needs to take a chill pill. Oh my god, John. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, bum, ba -da. I think John needs to stop having slaves. I think that would solve his problem of losing them. Bomba. Is the price of grain going back up? I feel like it is. So, return state in the Caucasus. Russia against the Caucasian Imamate. Hey, these little guys. Imam Shamil Marid. Who is a real person, by the way. If you see these green backgrounds, that means that they are a real person. And I think if I. I don't think I can go to Wikipedia. <laughs> you said cock. <laughs> Caucasians. <laughs> also, Egypt and the Ottoman Empire are at war. <clears throat> Khadiva Muhammad Ali Al Alawi. Versus Omar Lufti Pasha. Versus General Ahmad Pasha Abu Widan. Who is French? A French Catholic named Ahmad Pasha Abu Widan. Apparently, he's a real person. <laughs> okay. And General Omer Lufti, Lutfi Pasha, Pasha, who is a Serbian Orthodox. I'll be honest; these are not names I would expect from from a French Catholic and a Serbian Orthodox, but. The world, the world is a, is not as simple as people like to think it is. Sometimes, I guess. Also, the Ottomans are losing, but they'll probably win this fight. I think the Ottomans are losing because the Egyptians have taken this little bit. What is this? What is this war for, anyway? This is a big one. Oh. Hello, hello, Harry Plays. How are you today? The Egyptians want Adana. Not the bit! They took the bit! Adana is the rest of this. Egyptians want this. Whereas the... The Ottomans want this, 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 and also this. Huh. I think this might be a little bit one-sided of a conflict. Well, have fun, you two. 
Oh my god, I am almost out of almost out of bureaucracy, I just noticed. Have I upgraded all my administrations? I have not. What are you doing in the stream? Just kinda relaxing, playing United States. Hoping to eventually unite the entire Western Hemisphere. God, I need paper. Hope is to liberalize, get rid of slavery, you know, all that good stuff. Got it. Why is paper so expensive everywhere? And since everybody already hates me anyway, maybe even socialize, who knows? The original goal was to get Star Swarmed Banner because I've not got that achievement yet. Um, but I literally can't because the way I'm playing this, the computer that I'm actually playing the game on is separate from the one I'm streaming from and that one, the computer is disconnected from the internet so I can't actually get the achievement. So... I'm about to run out of bureaucracy here. Fuck you, full upgrade. Universal suffrage Every adult man because we don't have we don't have uh, female suffrage yet every adult man Has the right to vote We'll get there later Filing cabinets the use of filing cabinets in the government administration has drastically increased the effectiveness of state bureaucracy When did you start your channel? Uh, end of January 2017 Although I made a Twitch channel at the start of January, 2017. The future isn't in flying like a bird, nor in roaring along in a train. No, the future is in filing. I love bureaucracy. So 5% bureaucracy, which would be exactly what I want right now. Or we can store information about our citizens. <laughs> Which will give us a lot of progress on a on a tech that started in June 20, uh, 2023. Well, welcome to YouTube. Let's see, where is information? Identification documents right here. Eight years to research. Oof. Higher taxation capacity. I'll take the bureaucracy for now. That's not a tech we'll be looking into for any time in the near future. Speaking of looking into in the near future, let's see what laws we can work with. 8% chance <laughs> of becoming a monarchy. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? We do all of this liberalization and then we literally just backtrack and become a... Um, become a... Monarchy, that'd be hilarious. Everyone wants a national militia. Pass every law to see what would happen, even the ones I don't want. I don't want agrarianism. No one wants to move off per capita. Homestead, we're stuck on homesteading. Colonial resettlement. Yep, that's all anyone wants. Every law! <laughs> we have the best police force. Can't ban slavery. Jesus. Alright, I need to check something. Come on. There we go. Rural folk power is mostly, mostly in the south. And southern planta power is mostly in the south. So there, if there were to be a civil war where the rural folk and the southern planters went, it would mostly be the historical uh, confederacy that is the problem. Can't add anyone new. 
Oh yeah, I didn't explain this last time, but the United States actually has a mechanic um, where it, as long as you're, you actually have the star, the Stars and Stripes flag, which can change if you change government type, every time you add a new state, it will add a new f a new star to the flag every time you incorporate a new state into your country. I believe it goes up to 100 stars, which is why the achievement is 100 states. But it has some it has some interesting rules. Like West Virginia doesn't count unless you have a civil war, because that's historically when they split, and uh, DC never counts. because it's not a state. Ugh. Let me pop my neck again. Anyway, what was I doing? Pretty sure Harry left the stream. Yeah, probably. Pass migration controls, which everybody except the industrialists would be okay with. Which basically means uh, only non-discriminated non-discrimina people can come into the country. I can't get protected speech. All right, let's look at our agitators. Can we get anything good out of these guys? Closed borders, monarchy. Talkers, people, okay, let's show people we can actually invite. Professional army, guaranteed liberties. I like that. Both, <laughs> both Giuseppe's. Hmm. Should we go for guaranteed liberties or slavery banned? Because if we invite both Giuseppe's, That would probably launch us right into guaranteed li uh, guaranteed liberties. Which wouldn't actually start any fights. It'd just make people mad. We'd lose soldiers. But overall people would be happy. Ban slavery. The people have spoken! All right, Yevhen Rabinka. Who is a real person, by the way? Ukrainian Orthodox. Get in here. Now he'll he should start a movement to ban slavery. There it is. See if we can't... Oh my god, the evangelicals are losing support by the day. In much of a democracy if there's only one person who can vote. Me! <laughs> Welcome to... This is Democracy. My name is Demo. Only two million people support the movement. I want more people to start supporting it before I try to 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 get it. Because if I hit the the button, I can hit it now. I can ban slavery because there's a movement for it. You either need to have someone in government that wants to pass a law, or you need to have a government or a movement for the law to pass for you to be able to even try. be a 29% chance and it will almost certainly yeah it'll radicalize the southern planters negative 22 fuck it fuck it dude fuck it dude 
You know how we what we do to metagame this? Close down the military <laughs> in the south <laughs> before anything even happens. Close down their military. <laughs> Build it up in Mass Massachusetts. Hey, be fruitful and multiply. Oh, here's everybody changing their opinions. Farmers market is down, which means my infrastructure is boned. Honest work is down is is gone, which means I'm losing a lot of agriculture. Rural f old ways is up, which means my technology is coming in slower. And noble privileges is up, which means I'm getting less tax. But I am getting more a uh, more migration. <clears throat> I'm getting a two percent higher birth rate, and I do get ten percent authority, which doesn't really help me. But the birth rate is nice. Shut the whole country down. Shut it all down. God, they are so mad. They are so mad at me, dude. Yeah, now my market access is all kinds of fucked. Yeesh. What am I making the least on? I need that. I need that. I don't think there's... Yeah, I think I'm negative if I get rid of, rid of any of these. Hello, what's this then? Welcome to Victoria 2. We're in the year 1841, trying to pass slavery with the help of this Ukrainian dude named Eugene Hrabinka, also known as Yevhen Hrabinka. Also, we we uh, we took over Mexico. Don't don't worry about that. How are you, Jonathan? Why'd you listen to me? <laughs> you know, I'm a dumbass. Yeah, but I wanted to get rid of slavery anyway. And hell, if we can kick off the Civil War in the in 41, why not? It'll free up the rest of the time to not deal. Oh, radicalism has just passed over to 101. Which means they might start trying to re revolution us. It's a good thing I just closed down all of the military outside of the Northeast. There they go. <laughs> They've resigned from government. They got out of the Democratic Party. <laughs> Get out of here. Annex Mexico, that's going to ruin tax taxos. Tacos, well, now the tacos will be better. Because Tex-Mex is one of the best, best Mexican food sources in the United States. And now there's no, there's no separation between them. Tex-Mex can spread and further and further be mixed. They can integrate. Also, I own Haiti. Don't worry about it. Also, I think I can. Yeah, I can. Can I get rid of him? No, because he's insurrectionary. <laughs> It'd be hilarious if I could just get rid of Cal John Calhoun. Get out of here! This dumbass who keeps losing his slaves. I can't suppress them because I need 200 authority for that, and I need my authority being spent on consumption taxes. Because I'm making, like, no money. We only have one rule here on this stream. There are no rules! Also, don't worry about it. Oh, that's a big button. If you have a question, no, you don't. It's fine. 30 minutes from Tijuana. Classic Mexican food is unbeatable. Well, now they can blend even more. And they can spread. Besides, they're not actually part of the United States yet. They're just like our... They're, they're basically like, um... Big Puerto Rico at this point. With this fancy new flag. That they get. Also, Haiti has a fancy new flag. 
They really don't like me. I'm gonna stop trying to be friends with France. They don't want to, obviously. Let's try to be friends with Mexico. Membership lists discovered. A surprise police raid has uncovered a list of radicals associated with the Southern Planters. There are several ways this list can be used to the government's advantage. They came for us too quickly. We had no time to hide everything. Thanks to that, now we need time to hide everyone. Hunt down every member on the list and reduce revolution progress or completely bone their political strength. What strength are they getting anyway? Well, that would completely negate their bonus from slavery. We also need to get rid of Zachary Taylor and El Eli Augustus Frederick Lafayette. All right, yeah, well, let's expose them publicly. Can I? Uh, he's insur they're insurrectionary, damn it. I can't get rid of Zachary Taylor. Should have done that before. Because uh, they're supporting, they're generals that support the IG, the Instra interest group, so they get power from it. Yeah, and that'll crash a lot of their support, which is good. Indian removal, still? Fine, give them more money. Uh, and the Caucasian inmate has been eaten. Hmm. Can't expose a Frenchman publicly, they'll just, they just flaunt it. Lava yet? How's this war going? Actually, it seems like the Ottomans might win. Almost 100,000 people dead, but the Ottomans are claiming the actual, the actual Levant that they want. Whereas Egypt has only taken Libya <laughs> and not the actual part of the, of Turkey that they wanted. French people love being exposed. It's like their, 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 their favorite thing. Only 66% or only 66 radicalism. They may not actually get to revolution status. I don't know if it still works the way that it used to. All right, where will they all go? Okay. Pathetic. They didn't even get Texas. <laughs> they are getting Maryland though, which will be a problem. Just showing off the old baguette, yeah. That baguette looks a little crispy there, buddy. Speaking of France, they, lo they lost to the, to what is your official? The Beylik of Constantine. Somehow they lost to, they lost to con this little area here in Algeria, which is very funny. Good job, Louis Philippe de Doléon. Compromising the people. A stall event, uh oh. Representatives of the rural folk and government have demanded several compromises in the enactment of slavery ban. These measures have already been condemned by supporters of Yevhen Rabinka as corrosive to the reform as a whole. The word of a mob in the street will not change the nature of national interest. We have chosen to stand by our principles and avert this government from making a terrible mistake. That is all. And that is all there ever will be. Support of the rural folk is not worth the damage done. It'll make Yevon more popular. Yevon. Praise to be to you, Yevon. But it'll make the enactment time go up, or Hrabinka Her will complain. But he will act. Which will give us a setback. Oh, I don't want that. You only get three setbacks. 
And if you if you get all three, law change fails. Don't want that. It would increase our success chance and make the slavery ban movement more radical. It's fine because they're placated, but I don't want the setbacks. So we'll just give it the more. We'll just take the the more time. And it also makes Yevon more popular, which means that it actually increases our success because there's more people in support. The Rebel's Doctor. A doctor in Ohio has been caught aiding wounded dissidents and revolutionaries. His aid isn't just helping his patients, but it's emboldening the entire rebel movement. The doctor's defense attorney leaned back, nursing a small headache. The medical man had proven impossible to work with. His attempts at defense had just dug a deeper hole for himself. His waffling was painful, and his refusal to trust his counsel or even his kinfolk had ruined his chances of getting a lighter sentence. His persistent denials had served to only make his name mud. Only in Ohio! Ha <laughs> Relevant funny joke. Investigate the medical profession in Ohio for sympathizers, make academics in Ohio mad and reduce the cha the progress of civil war, or the lone doctor was a lone wolf. No need to follow up on this. In Ohio? How many academics are in Ohio? 300. Who cares? <laughs> I'll make like, yeah, sure, I'll make like 60 dudes mad. I got a million, million and a half fucking radicals as it is. Hey, I got institutional. Because my computer isn't connected to the internet, so we can't see that I've already got that achievement. Anyway, the Metropolitan Police is completed. The dedicated police force has solved a series of high-profile murders in Washington thanks to our investment in their institution. Public confidence in the police is at an all-time high. Washington by gaslight can be a treacherous place. The papers would have you believe that danger lurks around every corner. But all of that is set to change. With a peeler patrolman on every street, our citizens were able to stride confidently in the knowledge that they are protected from the criminal element. Medals for all of our brave bodies. Make servicemen in, D in DC more loyalists, which doesn't matter. Or Washington's finest are on the case. District of Columbia. It's confidence in police, which is less radicals from standard of living decreases. I'm pretty sure there are like, there are literally no soldiers in DC because I don't have enough population there to raise soldiers. Everyone I've ever known from Ohio takes, talks crazy shit, but they always move back every single one. That's just the way it is for the Midwest. It sucks here and everyone hates it, but no one can leave. It's like a glue trap. I'll take Washington's finest star on the case. Neither of those really matter. What's our infamy look like? Still very bad, but not as bad. We're below 60 now, so that's cool. Speaking of infamy, are we still the only person on the country that's uh, on the co on the the planet that's done anything wrong? Well, Bolivia, but people don't really care too much about what Bolivia did. Apparently, oh, well, the Ottomans won their war, by the way. Good for them. Also, they got it for free. And Russia got to eat this little guy here, the Caucasian MMA, for free as well. Yep, the world just hates me. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Who would have thought dominating an entire continent would make people pissed? Bolivia, land of cocaine and papaya. Yes. Oh, speaking of fighting, Russia's eating Circassia. The Circassian Confederation. Amade how to call Mansur. Circassian language is actually really cool. Like the Circassian languages, there's multiple. Is actually really cool. It's only got like three vowels. But they have like a million and one fucking consonants. It's actually really cool. What was I going to look at? Oh yeah, the opium. 
the price of opium go down? It did. Oh, Sinaloa increased its opium. There's actually no drugs in Bolivia. <laughs> there is in, in Colombia. What does that sound like? Uh, a bunch of consonants that I can't actually pronounce, but if I... I think this is, this would be like... Hamad... Hawad... Hawadwukwa? Hawadwukwa? Something like that? It's got a, uh, ah, uh, well, a long, a, a long ah uh sound, a long a, and then uh. And the actual like vowel symbols that they use are are for like labialized consonants. Where like in English you have q u, which is like qua. Um, they have that little w on the on the front of the attached to a consonant for a ton of them. And, like, the O's and the U's and stuff are used to mark that that's actually part of the consonant. Publishing Committee Prosecutions A committee of publishers associated with the Southern Planters that produce incendiary pamphlets has been brought before the courts. This agglomeration of dangerous men must be stopped. We must take them from the means of provoking the mob and reduce these arrogant fools to their true proportions to their real role as little more than obscure conspirators and criminals. Just for their trial in the courts. Which would make the Southern Planters more powerful. I don't want that. Muzzle them, which will make them weaker. Or let them go, which would make the Civil War worse. But would still make them weak weaker. Yeah, let's make them weaker and reduce the Civil War speed. Yeah, and now they're and now they're even weaker. <laughs> Keep making the uh, the planners weak. The weaker the planners get, the the less the powerful their revolution actually becomes. Defamatory article. A newspaper called the Alabama Gazette has printed a bigoted article about the Afro-American people living there. We can suppress this article or we can let it be released. Absolute vile lies, the lot of it. That won't matter to those who read it, though. They'll eat it up. We can suppress it, which will take some authority or we can ignore it which will make life worse for the afro-american population in alabama i'll take the authority hit we can we still have plenty of excess i am a, i am about to make life worse for a quarter million people <laughs> that ain't happening especially a quarter million people most of which are already in terrible conditions because they're slaves. I ain't about to do that. Speaking of terrible conditions, ugh! My poor people are exceedingly poor. Minus 7.2% deficit. 250,000 people, yeah, in Alabama. There's a quarter million Afro-American people in Alabama. And most of them, not all of them, there's like 3,000 Afro-Americans that are not slaves. But most of them are slaves. Because I am pretty sure that if we go to the detailed list over here and go down to slaves, where where's the slaves? Oh, they're there. I'm pretty sure as we go through here, it'll be Afro-American, Afro-American, Afro-American. I don't think we have any other any other people enslaved, like any other cultures. Well, we, we have some Anto and Afro-Antillians in Louisiana, which are which are like uh, like Black French speaking people. Think like Haiti and uh, and some other Caribbean islands. Yeah, other than that, yeah, they're like... Wait, there's eight Equatorial Bantu in Texas. Why are there Equatorial Bantu people? How'd you guys get here? 
I'm guessing for the short time that Texas was an independent country, I'm guessing they had actual slave trade, which allows you to actually import slaves from decentralized uh, countries like these. I'm guessing that's how they got there. Imagine being able to speak French was almost me, but couldn't be me. Ugh, remember to stay hydrated. Subject content is very dangerous for a comedian to engage with. I'm going to end up lit in fire by the end. Hey, you can make fun of these dudes if you want. I don't think anyone will be mad at that. Look at how pathetic their little revolution is. They didn't even get Texas. They lost Maryland. They didn't even get Texas or Florida. And Maryland is backed out. Pathetic. Absolute jokes of a, of a confederacy these guys are going to be. Vultures upon a carcass. Opportunistic members of the industrialists have defected to the Southern Planners' cause. Carrying crows pluck from fresh deaths, no matter the cause. Some, however, since when a still living beast is about to die, the creature will wait, however long it takes, for said meal to die. But better to be there first there, with a choicest pick of meat, than hoping for scraps. Fuck these guys, dude. And so be it, and the Southern Planners will get a big boost and industrious will lose. Or we can lose some bureaucracy and have that. Yeah, let's take the bureaucracy hit. It's fun to dump on frogs. We can, con we will continue to make fun of them mercilessly for having to pay like 10% of, the, of, of their money to fucking Constantine. This little city right here. They lost a war. It's very funny. Make fun of the French all you want. Make fun of any of these countries, hell. Make fun of the British for failing to actually do the opium wars. It's very funny. The United, the United Kingdom never went after China for banning opium. So Hong Kong never got conquered. Bison hunting, why are we doing this again? Yeah, we're not killing the bison, god damn it. Make fun of Egypt for losing to the Ottoman Empire. Make fun of the Ottoman Empire for event for probably failing to modernize. They might actually, what was that sound? They had a forced market opening. Wait, did they accept the market open condition from the Egyptians? <laughs> Cause that was part of the war is Egypt wanted to, to force them to open their market. Oh, my phone died while it was on the charger. Sick. Yeah, outmoded bureaucracy. Yeah, they, they still have not recovered. <clears throat> so make fun of them for failing to recover. And make fun of Egypt to losing for a country that has failed to recover. Public address goes awry. What was meant as a routine speech about the merits of slavery banned by Charles Finley has quickly devolved into a public relations disaster for the evangelicals. Fumbling through his way through a series of poorly presented talking points, Charles Finney's arguments have been viciously and convincingly picked apart by his political opponents. The question on everyone's lips now is merely if this mishap was due to the inherent failings of slavery banned. I love that they just... They just introduced the name of the law instead of saying what it does. The law of slavery banned. <laughs> Supposed to slip banning slavery or can be chalked down to the political incompetence of the evangelicals. A bunch of miserable bastards who couldn't keep their heads in a drug war. Nothing I can say they didn't actually do. The British were fucking psychos in the Victorian area, dude. <laughs> they were psychos. Look what they did to Egypt. 
And also make fun of the East India Company for not actually fully conquering Egypt. They haven't moved at all since the start of the game. They're going to fall to the Raj because they failed to take the Sikh Empire or Burma. Which is like their main objective is to take the Sikhs and, and Burma. And they haven't done any of it. The fault of this four lead thought out proposal, which is minus 15 enactment chance. I don't want that. Charles Finney can must take the blame. He'll give us a minus 10% chance, success chance and body the evangelicals. Or take a setback. Get more chance. I think we'll take this setback. Because I don't think we're getting out of this little little hole in the this little hole in the road without taking a risk. So let's make the evangelical stronger and increase our success chance of, of of actually passing it. We'll take a setback. We still have another two chances. Like we better get this through. With all the bullshit that the planners have been doing. The Waffling Revolutionary. Admiral Lavayette, an associate of the Revolutionary Southern Planters, is known to have some doubts about his convictions. It may be possible to use that hesitancy to the government's advantage. Friends, it's not that I don't want the uprising to happen. I'm concerned about, you know, uh, it's I, uh, I'm in a good position, just, uh, well, what do I do? What do I do? Press the Admiral to support the government which will make the Southern planters happy and lose uh, civil war progress or make the Southern planters more powerful or arrest Eli, which could either get rid of him entirely or make the civil war worse. Hell yeah. And he's, he's dead, dude. Now nah, he's in jail, but he's dead. You're killing slavery. Hell yeah, I am. A pacifist? <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing here, Albert Vallette? Another Vallette, by the way. What are you doing here, Albert? Why are you an admiral? Hey, it's Matthew Perry. And David Farragut, who's a moderate. Oh, Matthew Perry. He'll be our Dixie boy. Also Canada. Your beverage company's entire business model is based around killing anyone brown. You're the East India Company. Beverage and drugs. Mm. But the pacifist. Sure, he would be an intelligentsia and he'd support the intelligentsia. But I kind of want a, a guy that's not a pacifist to lead my navy. Now the monsters will never escape the underground. Get on. Let's go! Colonization of Oklahoma has been completed. All right, let's start integrating them then. Welcome to the Union. We cannot access the Indian Territory until we eventually annex Mexico, though. And colonization of Kansas has been completed. Terrible joke, and I will not apologize, nor would I expect you to. Let's integrate Kansas. Can I start any other colonizations? I can. So let's do so. Ursat's food. Struggling people in Wisconsin have been desperately trying to get their hands on any food they can. Dire warnings of a turnip winter have been spreading throughout the, the region. Last week, all we could get was pig's feed. This week, I'm not actually sure what that stuff is. Is that sawdust? 
my joke specifically. I thought it was a good joke. At least food substitutes will fill people's stomachs. Which is a plus 2% morality or mortality. Try to increase the local food production, which will reduce the speed of the Civil War. Make us less money and make more food in Wisconsin. Or we cannot do anything, which will collapse Wisconsin and make the Civil War worse. Let's just try to make the food, make more food. Best of his Navy, I'm imagining a bunch of dudes on inner tubes listening to EDM. Damn it, now, I, now you're making me wish that I'd gotten that guy. That sounds like a hell of a party. All right, they're loyal. Let's stop improving relations. I don't actually want to have great relations with Mexico because if I do that, I can't an annex them later. <laughs> they need to not like me. Be friends with Russia. Russia doesn't hate me. Go figure, Russia doesn't care when, when other people conquer. The invasion on Normandy goes a lot different. Just a bunch of boys rocking up. A bunch of blonde shirtless dudes with sunglasses. Just drifting up to the beach. Boombox. Sitting on their chest. Hell yeah, brother. Not yet. <laughs> they could always hate us later. And Circassia is gone. Rest in peace. The infernal machine. An attempt on the life of the president has killed many, but spared our ruler. Someone just tried to kill Andrew Jackson. A complex device itself damaged in the attack is the only trace of the revolutionary left at the site of the attack. It's hard to say what happened. I heard a slow explosion like a ragged platoon fire, and there was smoke and chaos all around. The people to my right and left were cut down where they stood, but I was untouched. I looked off towards the president, and there was just a suddenly a bloody void surrounding him. Oh my god. Jersey sword dinks getting mulched by machine guns. Well, if I know anything about Germans, they love to party too. Imagine them wearing comically large sunglasses and not regular sunglasses. They got like the plastic ones. An army of Elton John. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Limit Andrew Jackson's public appearance, which will make him less popular. Or we can arrest Yevon Her Rabinka, which I don't want. Fuck you, Jackson. I don't actually like you. But that did fuck my authority up, though. That's fine, I can take negative authority for a little bit. Ugh. And the, the Hudson Bay Company is has colonized Manitoba. Manitoba. Hey, and he's dead. Get out of here, Jackson. Who's our president now? A 35 authoritarian farmer named Gregory Spencer who just completely fucking bodied my authority. God. Ugh. I need to do something about this. That is really bad. Minus 200 authority is awful. But if I get rid of any of my consumption taxes, my my economy is going to fucking tank. I can't lower government wages because I need the authority. Fuck. We're looking at a problem here. Do I have motor industries? I do. They're actually working. 
Trying to play Tiny Dancer on the beach in Normandy. I want to see this. Hell yeah. I think the farmers are actually... Because he's just authoritarian, they actually don't care about... The... About slavery anymore. Which is good means we should have more success yeah yeah look at our the stall chance is tanked terribly because of how because of the the rural folk are no longer blocking it and also they don't longer hate us because they don't care about us trying to get rid of slavery anymore and we have modern sewers hell yeah heavy handedness Gregory Spencer mistook an enemy in the intelligentsia after accusing them with false charges, moderate in the intelligentsia defected to the southern planet's cause. Uh-oh. The beefest flash of anger can make a f an enemy of a friendly face. Can even make the staunchest allies split each other over misunderstanding. And once it is cast, there is no going back. Their bedfellows may not be so accommodating, which will make both the intelligentsia and the planters happy or stronger. Or it'll body Henry Clay. Completely ruin him. They got modern sewers. Yeah, we've invented the concept of a modern sewer. I don't want Henry Clay to be to be uh, un unhappy. Or Gregory Spencer should stand down. Who are you? Oh, he's the president. <laughs> let's make yeah, let's make the president even less popular. Yeah, I, I didn't need that authority anyway. He's always three missed meals and one clogged toilet away. Or in this case, hey, a lot progressed to the next rate. In our case, anarchy is uh, a, a law and a, a law and a technology away, and we can become an anarchy. <laughs> Anything but the clogged toilet. That clock toilets aren't so bad. Just hold your nose. I've been there. Bum, 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 ba -da -ba 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 -da -da. The Ute have upri are uprising against us. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Well, I guess I, li I literally can only... Well, I could raise some conscripts for Zachary Taylor here. Let's see, where's the Midwest? Here. Go. Activate conscripts. Give him these two. Here you go. You don't know fear until you see that water rise. <laughs> Imagine having water to go into the toilet. Uh, that's real fear. Oh, and the British and the Russians have decided to hate each other. Ooh, let me pop my neck. Ah. Uh. National self-defense. With violent sentiment rising among the American politically unaligned, several Algonquian communities have begun to form armed militias to keep their populations safe. The soul of the ancient Algonquian heroes wandering the world of in the world of chaos has finally found its place. <laughs> Oh my god, the American politically unaligned are becoming more violent. <laughs> I, I don't think you're supposed to be able to target them. <laughs> you're supposed to target an IG. You're supposed to target like southern planters, whatever. That's just, that's very funny. The authorities have more things to worry about, which makes a lot of people mad and gives me even worse authority. Oh boy.
Or we can say fuck the Algonquian people. Which I don't really want to do. There's only 59,000 of them. And I can't really afford more, more authority deficit. Algonquin. Well, Algonquian includes more than just the Algonquin. Look us up, yo. But dude, that's a my that's that's another minus ten to my authority, dude. Fuck Gregory Spencer. That guy is ruining everything because he has that guy has shit popularity. Gonna rock in a hard place. Yeah, I. Damn the politically unaligned! <laughs> That's what this comes down to. Politically unaligned! William Henry is gonna stomp us in a few years. I have a William Shubrick. Does that count? Hmm. I really, I really can't take the authority loss. Well, time to make everyone's life worse. Why did Russia declare themselves neutral in a war that they have nothing to do with? I can't, I can't have more authority loss. Gold in California. Hmm, hey Mexico. <laughs> what you got there, buddy? None. Oh boy, the gold rush is starting. What you got there, Mexico? Back up my gourds. Hey man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. At least it's not like where it was with the the uh, Cherokee, where they just get they just get fucked, and I can't even do anything about it. Every so often, I'll just get an event which is like, hey, people are kicking the Cherokee out of out of Georgia more some some more. It's like, well, I guess I guess that I guess that's happening. You want to pay money or do you want to kill Cherokee people? And I'm like, I guess I'm paying money. <laughs> History's fucked, man. Also, the revolution is. <laughs> Bro, the revolution has come gone away. People are leaving the Confederate States in droves. We all end up turning whiter and whiter, whatever. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> I want it so bad. Anyway, a fort in a sea of anger. Mobs have surrounded an arsenal in the New, in the New York. Threatening to seize the arms and munitions stored within. While the guards are starving, staving off attacks for now. If no relief is sent in, then the arsenal will fall to the insurrectionists. I couldn't sleep last night. The commander refuses to accept our terms, and firing continues from both the arsenal and the emplacements that now surround it. After one loud blast, I sprung out of bed and went onto my knees to pray. Pray as I've never prayed before. A relief call column could escalate tensions, but it's necessary. Make my servicemen more radical. Can't wait to turn to my history as I using the stream as a source four years ago. Hell yeah. You're here to learn real history.
The mob could be emboldened by a surrender, but we need to take that risk. Make officers more angry. What do my soldiers and officers in New York look like? I don't really care about the Civil War chance. I have, like, no officers in New York. Fuck it. I'm not scared of the revolution of the of the revolution happening anymore. Look at this. Absolutely pathetic. And invent time travel and I'm golden. Just go get like a community college <laughs> a, a history class from I mean, community college. And then you can start turning in paradox uh, game informed history. France has stopped damaging our relations. Hell yeah. I went to war with the U with the Ute people and France uh, France is like, "Ooh, Whoa, 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 whoa. Russia, what's going on here? Oh my god, finally, another country that other people hate. First off, they're backing up Me Mecklenburg in a revolt. Or, this is what's actually going on. They're the leadership play. Germany and Austria are fighting to see who actually owns Germany. Are they hated more than you? No. <laughs> People still think I'm worse. But not by much. Let's see what this war what this war's got going on. German leadership, which will allow either Prussia or Austria to actually like. Whoever wins this is the country that can form Germany. And if Austria wins, that means they can... They can combine the Austro-Hungarian Empire and German Empire into one and be Super Germany. I've done that before. It's hilarious. It's actually not that hard. Prussia also wants Tyrol, which is this little strip of land here. Württemberg, which is this part here and to force open the Austrian market. Austria wants Franconia, which is the northern half of Bavaria. They don't want the southern half, though. They want to oh, they want Frankfurt and Waldeck to be their little their little bitches, and they want to make Prussia. They want to make Prussia uh, bow down and apologize in front of the class. So yeah, it's me, Prussia, and Austria. We're the only people that the, that the world hates right now. Bolivia is almost... No one cares about what they did, whatever they did, anymore. Sorry, Posey House. But that's just the way it is. I'd eventually like to try playing as the Indian Territory. You, there's actually an achievement where if you start as the Indian Territory, um, you can get an achievement if you drive the United States back and make them like just like the District of Columbia. And it's called the American Territory. But well, that sounds very difficult. You can add public enemy number one in your resume. Well, I'm the United States, it's a given. Sailors stay ashore. Sailors in Louisiana have refused to embark for any voyages out of port. The scope of the mutiny calls for a very delicate approach to the situation. It's very simple. We have demands. We don't sail until those demands are met. Attain the men and keep the incident contained to Louisiana. To make the servicemen radical in Louisiana. I don't think I have anyone. Push the men onto their ships, make all servicemen more radical, or talk it out, which makes all officers more radical. What's the population in Louisiana look like? How many servicemen do we have? 51! <laughs> I, don't, I don't fucking care. Become radical, dumbass. Alright, I'm gonna take a quick break to get up, walk around, 
and I think turn on the air conditioning because it is getting really hot in here. I will be right back. He's me, I'm back. I was thinking about the the situation with the Algonquians earlier, and it's one of those interesting, like, things that lead to things where the reason why I can't do anything about, about, I couldn't do anything about what was going on there, because I'm already spending, so, I was already, I've already been spending so much money Trying to get Georgia to not any updates on the headache. It's mostly gone, but my energy level hasn't recovered. I took um, some aspirin before coming here. But that doesn't help my overall energy. Um, but because I'm spending so much money, I can't afford to get rid of any of my any of my consumption taxes. So I can't actually offset the authority loss. Uh, I also have acquired a Dr. Pepper. Coffee talk. Slavery banned was on everyone's lips in every coffee house. Afterwards, Yevon Hrabinka was ready to, to cross the rural folk to help us pass the law. Wise counsel advises us, advises us against conflating the voice of the people with the voice of God. Wiser counsel calls the voice of the people mad. The wisest council understands that genius and madness are two signs of the same coin. It's a matter of knowing when to listen. Welcome to this change of heart, which will give us a plus 5% uh, success chance to ban slavery and either make Yevon Rabinka more popular, make the military more popular, or a slight chance of getting rid of Yevon altogether, which I actually don't want. Shield Yevon Rabinka from the rural folks below back. Which will make him less popular and make the military more popular. I'm going to cross my fingers and fucking pray. 
pray that that five percent doesn't roll, and that I don't kick out the only re the only reason I'm able to to try to ban slavery, please. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I was afraid I was about to get like a fear and hunger <laughs> level roll. <laughs> Some XCOM type shit. Did he get the bonus though? No, I think the military did. The grunts without context sounds very weird. <clears throat> no history, the worst enemy was us. Well, it still doesn't excuse what, you know. I don't excuse shit. <sighs> oh, yep, the Indian removal. Here we go. Tennessee is trying to kick out the Cherokee now. Nope, oh, time to spend more money on that, I guess. So that less Cherokee people die. Oh boy, yippee! Thanks, Tennessee. Very cool. Why are people like that? <laughs> Humans are assholes. I need to invent human rights. <laughs> so bad. How far am I from human rights? Oh, very far. Takes seven years to research on its own. Yeah. 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 Oh, the Prussians and the French hate each other, and Russia has joined in the war! And so are the French! Yeah, I'd be worried too if I were you, uh, Prussia. The Ottomans have joined in on Prussia's side. Oh my god, is this a world war over Germany? Oh boy. Oh, and the two Sicilies have decided they want to say hello to Mexico. Hey, buddy. Is it that time already? Oh. 1843 has a bit early, doesn't it? That was too early. It's a little early. Bam, 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 bam. Now we just wait for the Ute to surrender. All humans are fools and uh, devils. There is no shelter here. All you can try to do is find people that are not as bad. Oh, our colonization rights with the Pawnee are gone. That's fine because they're basically gone anyway. Bam, bam, ba -da, ba -da. Oh yeah, I'm actually making money. Am I using all my construction? I am. I'm making money. Well, I can get rid of the tax on luxury furniture and get a little bit my a little bit of my authority back finally. Not everyone wants to eat you. Some just some just nibble. Some just get a little like a little bitty, a little bitey. We call them bit us because it bit us. <laughs> And yeah, the revolution is never going to happen because they only have 60 radicalism and you, need, and you can only get revolution to the percent of radicalism. At least it's how it used to work and it seems to be how it's still working. Which means it's not going to happen. And that colonization rights have, are achieved. Means we'll colonize faster. Spain is puppeting Ache. Spain. Spain, they're nowhere near the Philippines. You're supposed to go after Manguindanao. Supposed to, you're supposed to go after the Moro and the Su and Sulu. What's wrong with you? Going after Acha. Speaking of things that are happening, is anything happening in Japan? Oh, they actually are trying to get rid of of serfdom. Oh.
Good luck, you haven't accomplished anything and you probably won't accomplish this. So good luck. I'm surprised that the rural folk aren't in support of that. Because that'd make them ex incredibly powerful. I'm, I'm trying to look at this guy. Yeah, they endorse uh, agraria. They endorse uh, homesteading. I'm surprised that they haven't joined in. Yeah, now we just basically sit here until we ban slavery. No civil war, just a bunch of, just a bunch of grumpy dudes. Just a bunch of grumpy rich dudes that no one even likes. Lubeck has refused to become a protectorate of Sweden. Oh my God, Prussia! Prussia, no! <laughs> Fucking owned. Jesus Christ. Austria is set to be really, really powerful after this. Prussia is getting completely bodied. Surprised that Austria isn't going for Silesia, seeing as that's actually like historically territory that they owned. Confusion and delay. Supporters of slavery banned among the rural folk, headed by Yevon Rabinka, have questioned the government publicly on the amount of time that is required in order for the law to pass. The government is, at this time, carrying out an atrocity through cold bureaucracy. It favors procedure over lives, paperwork over hunger. How many people need to suffer for the sake of the feelings of some government functionaries who have never felt a speck of hunger in their lives? Documents can wait, ladies and gentlemen, but the people suffering cannot. The bill will be passed when the process is complete. Which will make them mad. Which might actually be a good thing. Because if more people, if the people, uh, if, if, the, sla if the slavery banned people are mad, more mad. That means more people will support it, which will give us a higher success chance, and it'll give us 10% authority. Or documents can wait, and people cannot, which will tank our bureaucracy. And make it a lot faster. I need the, I, I think I need the authority. Besides, this will still, this should still benefit us. Yeah, it still gives us another 5% uh, success up. You Silesia. So Silesia. See, it looks like we're not going to be looking at a Berlin-led Germany this run. Looks like we'll be looking at a Vienna-led Germany. Very interesting. Peace between France and yogurt. Why were you guys? Why were you at war with Zuger? You can't reach them, France. Why'd you declare war on them? When did you declare war on them? I don't remember. Whatever. <laughs> Oh, shit going down in Ethiopia. Wello and Shewa are fighting. German Austria, potato and yam. Yeah, man. Oh, Bavaria gave up. They gave Franconia to Austria. God, look at that. Look at those borders. Ew. Ew, you should have taken actual, actual Bayern, dude. I hate it. Great Britain has taken on Haiti's national debt. Why didn't you ask me? I, you're, you're part of my country. Why didn't you ask? 
But we should make France the laughing, laughing stock of the world. This playthrough, everything that they've tried to do has failed horribly. They lost the war to Constantine, which, to be fair, was a good movie. But it's not very good at fighting wars. And went to war with with Tugert. They lost Aisha Bengana, who apparently no one likes. Negative 75 popularity. Hey, patronize romanticism is done. We finally got our art, art build facilities up. The Arts Academy of Ohio has experienced an increasing interest in the romantic movement, with some of our greatest artists producing genuine masterpieces. In Xanadu did Kublai Khan, a stately pleasure dome decree, where off the sacred river ran, through caverns measureless to man, down to a sunless sea. We'll show the world how romanticism is done. Which makes the Ohio Art, Arts Academy stronger. Or we could get a, a head start on realism, which will do that. Ugh, my eye itches. Ugh. Why are eyes so squishy, dude? Yeah, now it hurts. Ow, my eye hurts. Hey, we've invented fractional distillation. So now we can make booze. More booze. More booze! Too much booze, actually. I will not be doing that. I need hard wooden tools so bad. Make more hardwood in Indiana. Constantine only conquered half the known world and ushered in the Middle Age of Christian Europe, just so you're saying. Just so you know. Well, now look at him. That's Charlemagne. And also Constantine. And also Alexander. Hardwood, you say? Linny face. Oh god, knowledge of nitroglycerin has started to spread. Uh oh! What's going on in China? They're trying to ban slavery. Or, uh, not slavery, serfdom. Good luck! Korea's trying to get a National Guard. Russia's trying to invent voting. Constantine was an impudent punk. Yeah, but he did, ha he did have a nice city. Troubles of the commons, oh boy. Every tenancy of the Southern planters in New York has rental prices beyond reasonable limits. Their tenants direct their ire at the government for not protecting them. Humans have two reactions in times of strife, seek culpability for their woes, and address it accordingly. A sign of strength or fatal stupidity. Stupi stupidity. Philosophers could debate until the end of days. They do agree it is not a sign of intelligence. The blame can be shifted, and those culpable profit most of all. Seize the ringleaders! Which is a good way to say, screw you, Southern planners. Charge them with extortion, which uh, ruins our plantation output. Or rent needs a stern limit. <laughs> so we can implement a uh, rent limitation, or we can just straight up arrest the landlords. Let's just arrest them. Yoink. Revolution doesn't scare me. Oh, Bolivia and Brazil have decided that they're friends. Ba, ba, da, ba, ba, 
ba ba. Hey, look, it's the lady they're singing the song about. Oh, seems like the Prussian, the Prussian war is over. Yep, they've been humiliated by Austria. Friends. Bolivia and Brazil are being friends. So yeah, Austria has just... Hey, we're in the last stage of banning savory. Mixing my Winterslaus with my Frederick's uh, common mistake. The revolution grow? It did. They added a state. Not like it matters. God, they are so mad. They are so mad. Haitian religious revolt? What the? The Haitian absolute principality. Like a, a Caribbean Catholic... A Caribbean Catholic monarchy. Okay. I guess we'll stop that. <laughs> huh. Weird. Oh, and the Great Sioux Nation is up is uprising against us, and our colonization of Minnesota, and North Dakota, and South Dakota are finished. Although I don't think they actually are. Yeah, they're not actually done. They just calls them done because uh, you can't you cannot uh, have colonization on some on a on a country that you're at war at or with not at you can't war at someone I don't think that's how those words work well raise the Wisconsinites and the Iowans imagine being slave about mad about losing slaves just use automation Lamau right oh Georgia kicking out more Cherokee. There goes more money. Nobody expects the Jamaican Inquisition. I wouldn't. I saw someone once make a Canadian theocracy in this game because you can actually like reform your government into a theocracy. <laughs> And they became the Canadian theocracy. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. See what other people's opinions of Austria are. I want to see what their opinion of Austria is. Why can't I see this? I know I want to know what people think of Austria. Does this not work? It works in every other game. No, oh, whatever. I wanted to see how much how how much people in Germany are okay with them. It'll probably be a bit before they try to actually unite Germany because everyone is mad at them. The People's Party and the Southern Planters have become powerful. They, how the hell? How'd they jump up to 27% power? What the fuck? Well, seems like the war is on, boys. The Ruralists have become the People's Party. Oh, they lost South Care. Oh, and everyone just rejoined. What the fuck? Well, war's back on. <laughs> Yeesh.
Let's get this Haiti and soothing done quickly. Because I need those soldiers. What kind of black magic is this? I think they had a negative uh, thing. A negative modifier which expired. Italian, Austrian, Maryland, Algonquin, and English. I'm really talking about shit about at least half the planet with impunity. Everyone's free to talk shit about the Austrians, the Italians, and the English. Just not South Italians. Trade agreement from Brazil. From Brazil. Sure. Wow, I was making $2,000 from Brazil. Oh. Well, let's get these wars over with as quickly as possible. Because the, uh, the revolution is about to happen. And they're back to being huge again. Garibaldi offers his services. Joining our struggle against the Haitian military revolt, the Italian revolutionary and nationalist Giuseppe Garibaldi has decided to align with our cause, offering up his services as a general. I offer pay, neither pay, nor quarters, nor food. And they offer hunger, thirst, forced marches, battles, and death. Let him who loves his country with his heart, not merely with his lips, follow me. We can invite Giuseppe Garibaldi, the gaucho. What is... Oh, he's in our country already. Oh. Okay. He's already here. Or we have no use for him and we exile him. Sure, he can, he can stay. Welcome, one of two Gis Giuseppes. Neither of them brought pizza. Jean-Baptiste Pétion. Pétion. That's our guy. The horror. The Italians! Realism is spreading. Oh, God. I hate reality. Yeah, this war is about, about to, about to click. Here we fucking go. The American arist aristocratic revolt. Revolution is upon us. In other news, this is actually good for us because that means that the Landowners have no power anymore. <laughs> yeah, cuz he's from Jersey and yeah, the horror. <laughs> All right. I need more generals. William Schubrick, come here. God, my money! Why am I losing 30,000 in subsidies? What the fuck am I subs- The railway! Oh, I what the hell? Government run! Um, hmm. Is there a way I can get rid of transport? I fire a bunch of people. Hmm. Since Scotty leaves little brown spots everywhere. Oh. I think I need rail transport for these anyway. For a for a a thing. So let's up our price of it branching out. Railroad boom. The growth of branch lines along the main railroads has been immensely valuable to the growth of our burgeoning rail industry. A child has been arrested for picking up coal alongside newly laid tracks. 
If he'd been smart enough to steal the whole railroad, he would have been, would have been hailed as Napoleon of the industry. Railroads of Pennsylvania shall prosper. The locomotive buildings of o builders of Ohio should benefit. Or let us not rest on our loyal laurels, but anticipate the future. Now we need more engines. The Southern Declaration of Secession. A convention of pro-slavery pro states has declared their independence from us as the Confederate aristocratic revolt. The Union has been challenged, but will not yield so easily. In the momentous step which we have taken of dissolving our connection with the government of which we were so long formed a part, it is but just that we should declare the prominent reasons which have induced our cause. Our position is thoroughly identified with the institution of slavery, the great material interest of the world. A house divided against itself cannot stand for the Union! Or we join the Confederates now. Nah, for the Union. Get fucked. Let's start raising soldiers as well. We're gonna need all our boys. Yeah, hey, Texas didn't join. Y'all ready to see my economy crash? As I pay all these soldiers? Oh boy. Didn't need more of the kids like Clayface from Batman. Oh my God. Somebody stop him. Giuseppe, why are you in Dixie? I didn't want you to go there. Pacific Coast HQ? What? Oh, that little tiny bit? <laughs> Technically Pacific Coast. All right. The industrialists are now powerful. Sick. All right, finish. Finish these wars. Raising concerns. The intelligentsia have expressed their concerns about government decisions clearly favoring the interests of the industrialists. Choosing is always hard. Not because of the decision is difficult to make, but because the consequences can be a bit inconvenient. Rumors are spreading like smoke from a factory, staining the clear air of the United States of America with a dense and vicious poison. This needs to be addressed to make the intelligentsia happy. Or get rid of, uh, or make the intelligentsia less powerful. Also, the Confederates are buying tools from us. God damn it. You know what? Screw you, dude. Embargo. Stop buying my stuff. The Emancipation Proclamation. With the supporters of slavery and rebellion, we can in issue a proclamation to free all slaves in rebellious territories. This is a, the first but most significant step in total abolition. By the power vested in me in this time of actual armed rebellion, I do order and declare that all persons held as slaves henceforward shall be free. Upon this act, I invoke the considerate judgment of mankind and the gracious, gracious favor of almighty, almighty God. We can instantly ban slavery or make people mad. I see this as an absolute win. No human being may be owned by another. We did it. Now, fuck. <laughs> I cannot get multiculturalism because no one wants it. Make people mad just for that of it. <laughs> no, I don't want to instantly pass what I'm doing. If we put the intelligentsia in power, we could actually go for cultural exclusion which I believe would actually end, would counteract uh, discrimination against Afro-American because they are Anglophone, which they share with Yankee, which would actually make them accepted. I need to remake my government anyway. Put the mili let's put the Whig, the Republican and Patriotic parties in charge. Hell yeah. My family from all sides have been moving to Texas and nobody planned. Now I got Jersey goons with a slight Texas twang. 
Hell yeah. Let's go for cultural exclusion. This will stop the discrimination against uh, Afri African Americans. Paranoid slave owners com uh, completed. I wonder why they. I wonder. I think they're already a little bit paranoid there, bud. There, bud. Oh, they're a little paranoid there, bud. And now they're trying to close the borders. Given. Given, I'm going to need you to fucking stop. All right. You served your purpose, Yevon Rabinka, but now you're trying to close my borders. That's not happening. God's will. Charles Finney of the Evangelicals has been preaching in favor of the Republican Party. And since their victory has been foreseen in God's plans. Do you think that God would not have a plan for our pious nation? Of course there is a plan. There must always be a plan. I've seen it myself, let me tell you. And I've seen it as clear as I see you all right now, just before my eyes. And who else is to lead this adrift government other than those who can clearly read that plan? Who are we to stand against God's will, which will empower the evangelicals? It's such a shame <laughs> that the nation is not ruled by God, which will make Charles Finney less popular. Or we can add momentum to the Free Trade Party. What's our election look like anyway? No one cares about the Free Trade Party. Let's empower the evangelicals. It'll empower the Republican Party, which is good because we want them in power. Because we want the intelligentsia for the time being. Oh, Mexico is buying fabric from the Confederates. Can y'all end these wars, please? Mr. Scott. Where'd this guy go? What the? Where'd this guy go? Why aren't you over here? Get over here. Oh my god, they're... <laughs> the Sioux are overrunning us because my general fucked off. Oh God, war. War never changes, but war is changed. War has changed. Oh, my phone turned back off again. I'm just gonna unplug it. Let it die, let it die, let it die. We don't have a whole lot of time here, guys. Clean it up. Inefficient agriculture. The industrialists have started complaining about the existence of subsistence farms in Pennsylvania. Never do for a phone upgrade. I know! I gotta get a computer first. In a world where industrialists have started complaining about the existence of subsistence farms in Pennsylvania. The fertile soil of our people suffers, relegated to tired and callous hands. Too exhausted from manual labor to perform at a decent level. Too poor to not be, a to be able to use more advanced tools that would make them more profitable. Not deep enough. I'm sorry. I know, I have a higher pitched voice, I know. The industry is just a, this industry is just a useless investment. Follow their advice, give more migration attraction to Pennsylvania, or make them mad. You will take the migration attraction, it literally doesn't matter! The Mexicans have finished colonizing Texas! Oh no! And so have we. Did it off the cuff, 6 of 10. I know. I know, I know! Oh my god, my government is fucking collapsing. Everyone get in here. All right, cool. Stop trying to close the borders. Uh oh. Anarchy now. Yeah, 
Anarchy Band. Uh oh, this is a problem. Those bots. Who's Great Plains? Wish it was easier to see where these guys were from. We're not Great Plains, fucking England. Scott. Who's currently busy. Yeah. Telfair Brantley. That's one hell of a name. David Attenborough doing a whirl in the world. Almost passed out that guy. I don't know who that is. But I'm sure it was very cool. <laughs> I don't know what a David Attenborough does. Empower Mr. William Schubert. And Mr. Scott. Fucking in this war now! Allows. The armed forces and petite bourgeoisie are split over the semantics of a clause regarding cultural exclusion. Giuseppe Garibaldi is happy to let the bickering continue. The actual fuck? I, I don't know. I don't know who that is. I would call attention to the statute forbidding the bearing of armor within this mighty institution. What's the issue this time? The wording does not specify whether one is only wearing armor. Or if one possesses it within the premises, one might simply be carrying an ornament and thus in breach of a law. Nature, nature narrative guy, the Brit. The... The, uh... That's neat. That guy. Favor the armed forces interpretation, make them stronger, for free, favor the petite bourgeoisie, or... Or ruin my, or decrease my success chance. No, let's favor the military. Who cares? Blue Earth and all that. I don't know what that is. A mining accident. A mine in Pennsylvania has collapsed, trapping miners within the dark shafts below. The scale of the accident has made a tragedy sto a story across Pennsylvania and the nation. They dug me out. But they left my friend behind. I hope wherever he's gone, it's better than here. Not the miners. What about the minor miners? There they are. Tis a small price to pay for the march of industry. Make the, the industrialists stronger. This outrageous abuse of the common man cannot continue. Power the trade unions or go. Eh, screw all of this and go for farmers. Yeah, let's empower the trade unions. Do a promotion. The armed forces demand the promotion of Major General William Shubrick. He just got a promotion. <laughs> I just promoted him to Major General. He is the very modern model of a modern Major General. Doubting his history of loyal and effective service. So many medals adorned his jacket that one could scarcely see the fabric beneath, but it was not yet enough. Chest puffed out with pride, the general smiled as he imagined a look on Scott's face when the lieutenant general learned of his imminent ascension. Their rivalry was legendary among the officers. At last, he would have his due. Make the military matter, just make them happy and, and promote them. Fine. Fine, you'll get your promotion. Please end this fucking war now. Can I go down? I... This is the problem. Why can't I send anybody to the Nebraska-Wyoming front? Wait, where'd he go? 
Where'd he go? Where the hell is the Missouri Oklahoma front? All right, head there. Just kick the butts. Here we go, Confederate States of America. And half my army is fighting the Sioux because of some dumb shit. Where my navy at? Raid convoys. Mansfield Duvall has has retired. He was a pacifist leader of the landowners. And now he's Eugene Selden, a jingoist. Sue don't play. They don't. Look at how much how much of my how much of my territory they've actually <laughs> they've actually managed to occupy. King? King Hugh Kennan. What the fuck? The Confederate States of America are a constitutional monarchy? <laughs> what the? Plot twist. <laughs> Damn the more uh, the royalists. Also, I'm going to be losing a lot of fights because half of my troops aren't even here. Some the Lakota and the Ojibwe are seriously no joke people. The Sioux, the Sioux people were fucking si like, not psycho, like. What's the fuck English? I don't know words. Fuck. I don't know the word that I was trying to say. Anyway. You get this done, Shubrick? Ferocious. Mm. Fierce? Fierce sounds better. Oh, yeah, I, I... Hey, I took Marilyn back. Nice. What kind of name is Telfair Brantley? God, I'm fucking Americans in the in the 1800s had such dumb names. Telfair, Pawnee as well. They did fight me, fight me too. The Pawnee, the Sioux, and the Ute are the three that have the three that have majorly put up a fight. I'm fairly sure I'm going to win this war. There we go. Let's send Shubrick down to Florida to push from the south. No shame in not knowing the English language. Several billion people don't. Christopher Botts has no orders anymore. Chris Butts. Where do soldiers go? He has no battalions. Gone to the dogs. A horrendous, horrendous first draft of cultural exclusion has every faction clamoring to ram in their desired changes. Giuseppe Garibaldi has a lion's share of the demands. Double pay on Saturday? Do they think we bathe in money? And 15 minutes for a smoke break? Preposterous! A short sickness leave would help blunt tuberculosis outbreaks. Pages brought fresh ink wills for every half-interested note-taker in the chamber. It was already a long day and promised to be a longer evening. Many more ink wills would be needed before this unruly child was put to bed. Stay the course! To make the intelligentsia more powerful and like me, an increased chance. Pierre Gellerbaldi, which makes him more power, like what he specifically likes, which is the 
Trade union. Ooh. Make the trade union more powerful. Or take the rural folk and make them more powerful. Let's empower the trade unions. Wait until you face Chief, Chief Joseph of the Nez, Nez Pierce. Pretty sure they're supposed to be over here. I think the Columbia District may have already eaten them. Or are they up here? I don't know. I'm pretty sure they're gone either way. I do believe they've already been eaten. Isaac Hull. Sunk 47 Confederate convoys. Good. Screw their, their convoys. Oh, man, the Indian Territory got completely fucking uh, occupied. Idaho, really? I thought they were further west. Well, either way, they're gone. You got the Nimipu with Chieftain Tuakaka's Waloa. Oh, hey, it's the Nespir. Nespers. There you go. There they are. Why you lying? Maybe I'm a lion. France ambitions. France has announced its intentions to expand towards its natural borders, spanning from the Atlantic to the Rhine. Who's in charge? Still the Orleanists. Uh-oh. Sounds like the Rhine crisis just kicked off. Where France wants to annex this. And also this, but the, they can't actually do that in the game because the states don't actually don't actually go along this, which is this is actually supposed to be the northern part. But you can't do that mechanically. Careful with them. He's got six dudes. That's actually really good for a population of 48,000. Especially since a soldier is 1,000 people. Tasmania is revolting against the British. Hell yeah. They are a democratic republic led by Chancellor Stuart Davis. Well, have fun. I do believe we are going to win the Civil War, though. Pretty easily. Yeah. Get owned, Zachary Taylor. <laughs> Go get him, devils. Yeah. You got this, you and your three soldiers. Against. Oh, how many do the British got? Oh. A few. About a few. God, get bodied, Confederates. <laughs> if we get cultural exclusion passed, too, we'll actually accept Afro-American as a culture, which means they'll be a, an integral bit of our country. Who even has their last name as a first name? Taylor. Cornelius Vanderbilt. Now that's a fucking name. Scott. This guy's name is backwards. Winfield Scott? I put his name on, on wrong. France embar embargoed mascara. Oh, but they stopped embargoing them. Oh, the, there's another without a clause thing. We make the military, the industrialists happy. Make the industrialists happy. This should actually give us more investment. Which is good, because that means that my private construction can be even better. Oh, bully him. It's his first day. I will continue to, to bully him. I will not stop. 
Taunting will continue until name improves. But I will respect him because he's currently kicking ass and chewing bubble gum, but mostly chewing ass. Look at my economy. <sighs> Make him cry and pee, maybe even poop, possibly even come. But maybe that's just me. Get him, Giuseppe! Yeah, yeah! Wait, why are you down here? Scott, get back up north. As soon as this war is over, I will be immediately declaring bankruptcy. <laughs> I have an artillery input shortage. Oh my god. Stop buying my fucking guns! Oh my god, I need to build I need to build a fucking native industry. Holy shit. I didn't even realize how bad it was. What a stop to poop, but you do you. I will. Alright, let's set up a strategic objective to get up here to, to South Carolina. So that we go along the coast. Cut off their coastal access here. Just don't tape it that it's evidence true. Leave no paper trails. Leave no pooper trails. Don't betray your poop. Oh, the Mexicans are, are attacking the Navajo. William Lyon McKenzie has been exiled. He is a radical. Yeah. Good for him. Owned. Easily owned. We've completed the path to liberalism and the American Civil War. <laughs> Reconstructing the nation. Must rebuild itself after being split in two. Uh-huh. I do not expect this nation to fall. Welcome or unwelcome, whether it becomes all one thing or all the other. This nation shall cease to be divided in body and soul. A house divided in itself cannot stand for the union. We get reconstruction, readmit the states, equality for all, and the Wild West. And liberté, égalité, fraternité. Yeah, freedom, equality, and brotherhood. The intelligentsia under the leadership of Henry, Henry Clay has ushered in an era of liberal politics that promises a freer society where all citizens have a part in the political process. You will find many ideologues who claim to represent the will of the people, but who silence its voice when it cries out in opposition to their policies. Not we. We will remove the people's shackles one by one until they are freed of the yoke of the past. Only then... Can we see what the will of the people truly is? And let it shape the future. Clay is a fearless visionary. Adds freedom of trade and makes Clay more popular. We can make Cornelius Vanderbilt a radical. What is he currently? I know he's the industrialists, but he's a moderate. Or we can turn Eugene Selden to a reformer. To make him like, who is he? He's a southern planter. <laughs> Who cares about him? Hmm. Make Cornelius a radical. The thought, the word, and the ideal. Those who seek to think boldly and freely are increasingly finding the United States of America to be one of the safest places to explore their ideality, I ideas. Have you read the filth let out in this supposed poem about the American president? Outrageous! Outrageous! Written by one of his countrymen, too. Can you imagine? I got a copy for myself. Someone needs to keep an eye on these liber literary libertines. The American government certainly isn't. 
a utopia for the modern artist. Makes art, arts academy stronger, or place where research is unimpeded, which makes our research stronger. Turn him into a pole dancer, those powdered wigs go a flying hell yeah. I'd watch it, top tier voice acting. I know I'm the best. A radical's rad. I'll upvote them. Look at all my new journal entries, hell yeah. I'll let Mexico deal with the Navajo. I need to deal with all this. All right, we have reconstruction, rebuild the nation after the civil war, which is reconstruct the formerly rebellious states. I think this is just what happens over the 12 years. Readmit the, su the secessionist states, bring the former secessionist states back into the fold as fully fledged incorporated states once more. Readmitting the rebellious states back into the union is essential for restoring the shaking spirit of the nation. Not stirred, not stirred. Don't have free radicals unless you want cancer. Damn. That real. May help establish new power bases for the government. We have to incorporate all of the American states. Quality for all. Created a system that recognizes all men from the North and South, black and white, as true equals in this nation of ours. This nation fought a war over deep issues that were papered over for generations until the, until the problems became too big to ignore. We must avoid a repeat of this disaster and talk, tackle the problems head on. Unless they are left to fester for another century. Which is what we're working on. We're getting cultural exclusion, which will make uh, Afro-American not discriminated. So that'll be fine. Great of funerals, I'm sure. <laughs> Yippee! So what we need to do first is readmit somehow the DC was, was unadmitted. God, my bureaucracy is fucked. Why? What the hell was that noise? Why is it so bad? Oh, I probably need to... Yeah, I need to fix... All this, because they fucked with my... My products. Yeah, when you have a revolution, they mess with your uh, production. I have to set this all back. I put rail on my plantations. Everybody saw a mill. Also puts horny cats in the casket. The casket. Hey. Hey. Those up to market stall. I need me some muskets. And some more steel. Who's losing money? Maryland? Why? You don't have enough workers? Okay. Well, we are facing several problems here. Namely, a negative 25,000 deficit. 
negative authority. Decrease our military. What? That check that changed my GDP. Weird. We have negative bureaucracy, negative authority, and a ne minus twenty-five thousand deficit. Who even needs authority? Not the United States government. We could raise taxes, but that would piss people off. Embrace anarchy. Hell yeah. It's a little early for anarchy. Maybe later. Well, now we're bankrupt. Now we need to figure out what to do about the massive deficit in wage. Import some paper. Wait, did they turn on lamps? Oh, we all have lamps. Lamps! Lamps! God, all of my businesses are fucked, dude. The mods are celebrating. Hell yeah, they are. You know who's not celebrating? Me. I'm freaking out here, dude. Oh god. I need to balance this that you on a moth that you know of. God, so many radicals. Radical. People in Minnesota are super happy with me though. They love me. I need to Reducing one of these wouldn't really matter to get bureaucracy back. It wouldn't give me enough. Fritter's wings. What was that? Huh? Who said what? It wasn't me. I'd be positive if I had the bureaucracy, but I don't. How the hell am I spending 80,000 on government wages just for paying my administration? Oh my god. How am I going to balance this? Oh yeah, that hurt. I was gonna save like that. Technically, caught save me money. Mm -hmm. To lose, uh, remove some electrons to become more positive. Why didn't I think of that? Well, we won the Civil War pretty easily, but we are in a hard place right now. Hard. Additional expenses, what is this? Yeah, paying for people to stop killing the Cherokee. God damn it. Why are my people psychos? <laughs> Why do I have so little authority? Is it because it's because no one likes the president? It's because no one likes Gregory Spencer. God damn it, Janet! You did didn't you select them? I chose to stop killing people. Why are my people trying to kill people? Yeah. <sighs>
Man, being a good country is hard. That's what she said! How much money am I making from tariffs? 3,000. Who do I have a trade agreement with? Brazil. Hey, Brazil, do you need anything? Wish you could, like, compare it to your own. Being a shit one is harder. Not, not when you're a government. <laughs> Being an asshole is easy when you're a government. Let's see, what do they have that's expensive? Artillery. make a little bit of money selling them artillery. Luxury. Wish I could export services, but you can't. Tobacco, maybe. Our tools are pretty expensive, but our tobacco is cheap. We can sell them some tobacco, make a little bit of money. Not an amoral power hungry ass wipe. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty easy to be evil when you're one when you're like that. <laughs> wow, my economy just fucking crashed even harder. Oh my god. I don't know the default setting shows stop messages instead of all. That can be helpful when the streams are when they're bigger. When there's like dozens of people chatting. But on small ones like this, it can be a bit annoying to have to change it. The Great Depression starting early. Woo! It was already here. I did just get more bureaucracy though. Modernizing the arsenal. The cha change in large scale production from smoothbore muskets to rifles in the arms industries in New York has ushered in a new era for small arms production in the United States of America. Even from 1,000 yards, you can still take the shot. Forward artillery positions can be harassed. Bayonet charges stopped before they've even commenced. The advantages are innumerable. Unless we develop sufficient manufacturing capabilities to produce these weapons, we are bound to face disaster on the battlefield. We can increase the New York arms industry building and migration attraction, which we don't really need. Or make it a little bit less of that and get progress on repeaters. Let's do that. God. Damn. 16.4% tax waste. Oh boy. Here we make fucking go. Paramilitary intimidation. Political groups opposed to the reconstruction have organized militant units to intimidate voters in Mississippi and restore themselves to power. While I understand that our organization causes consternation among some elements of the population, I can assure you that our bayonets and our, pop our rifles are purely for display purposes only. The chart was angry looking. He is kind of frowning. I understand. My balance is pretty sad. A loyal state government is all that matters, which makes African-American people have worse living standards and lets Mississippi have a rampant para paramilitary in it. Or the same thing happens and uh, we suppress them. Radicals from discrimination, yes or no? Well, if cultural exclusion passes, that stops being a problem.
We do need Dixie as loyalist, according to this. We need loyalist Dixie to be more than 0.2%. Uh, but I really don't want to let the fucking KKK go. No. Get out of here. Oh my god, 35% of my population in Connecticut is below the poverty line. Uh oh! Uh-oh! Uh-oh. This is even with the 12,000 that I'm getting from Mexico and, ha and Haiti. Oh my god. Did I get any gold? No. Follow the real world and start a world war. Hell yeah, that'll solve all my problems. Speaking of wars, was anything going on? We can land an plan to Antarctica, they can hate penguins. But if I do that, they'll get lost. Why am I losing so much money? It's because of the construction. Yeah, okay. If I reduced my military, it would be cheaper, but I think I would crash my arms industry into the dirt. Eh, it's already garbage. Them to the Congo, that'll work itself out. They'll be outnumbered. That'll be hilarious. All right, we're going to temporary, temporarily dial back our military spending. Save a little bit of money. Hey, Congo, you want some assholes? What do you say, Money Congo on Drake and Laza? It saved me a bit of money. I could, we could go high taxes. That would solve our money problem. But that would make people really fucking pissed. It would also hurt the Whig, the Republicans and the People's Party. He so wants some new friends. I'm sure he'd love them. The KKK is just Anglo-Saxon, Protestant, white, racist assholes, and they are a African Catholic state. What could possibly go wrong? I'm reducing my government spending. Reducing government spending. Who needs the authority? I need the money. You're leaving Great Britain because of taxes only to get more taxes. Hell yeah. The American way. <laughs> Over a drink. Giuseppe Garibaldi and the industrialists rambled at length about the positives of cultural exclusion when was cognizant enough to take minutes. Well, that's the problem with the new law. If you don't remove those su other supporting laws, someone can exploit those loopholes and escape its reach. Unless you count the two laws about evasion without plausible doubt, 
Then you have a crafty seal that catches those rogue actors. Commend them for their good work. Makes Gar Garibaldi stronger, makes the industrials stronger, and increases our success chance. Or do the opposite of that, but still get the success chance. Yeah, let's... I'm chill with, with, with Garibaldi. All right, we're in the positives again. Oh, whew. all right, we're going up. We're going up. Oh my God, look at how badly our economy is fucking trashed. The big thing with this is people have to, in the, in the, the parts of the country that just seceded, People have to, like, rejoin and shit. And then once these states get re, um, reincorporated, I'll get a bunch of my taxes back. And that'll solve a lot of my problem. Bison hunting? I'm not fucking killing the bison. Stop it. The third time you've asked me. Anyway, we successfully won the Civil War. Woo! And we're back to making money again. Even though it's in a way I don't exactly like. We're on our way to enacting cultural exclusion. Uh, we haven't expanded our borders other than like colonial uh, prospects. But we fought no wars of conquest against, uh, against anybody, so our infamy is still going down. The Brits and the French still hate us. Austrians are the rulers of Germany now. Things or uh, France continues to stumble over its feet. Oh, Emperor Louis Napoleon Bonaparte. Fancy that. Anyway, almost three hours. I believe that's a good, a good time today. Now it works. Yeah, good job, friends. <sighs> so. We're going to end here today. Thank you all for hanging out. Um, if I do stream tomorrow, it'll be shorter. Maybe we'll start up another Fear and Hunger run. Hopefully I have more energy. But we'll see. Thank you all for hanging out. I hope you had a good time. I love this game, and I always love playing this game. It makes me feel a lot better. I'll see you all later.